And let me bring you in on this. Can you explain what the call is that, that police get that result in that picture that many of us just stared at for hours and hours? It looked like hundreds. It looked like thousands to the eye. I'm sure it was more like hundreds of law enforcement vehicles on the scene for hours. Yeah, so everyone's going to respond. Anyone that was in Brooklyn today is going to respond when you have something like this. The NYPD will usually call a level two or a level three mobilization, which means every single precinct in the city is sending personnel because at that moment, they didn't know exactly what they had. They had several injuries, people running out. It was a very chaotic scene. Um, whenever you have smoke in a subway, people that have lived in New York City for many, many years, it brings them back to what we've experienced in years past. And Right now, you're going to see that heavy police presence, but just be know it that cops are all over the city. They're scanning all of the NYPD surveillance cameras. You have detectives going to all of the local establishments, collecting most of your bodegas, all of your Rite Aids, your Dwayne Reeds, your supermarkets. They have video surveillance. Um, and they're going to be, detectives are going to be tracking, they're going to be trying to track the movement of the suspect as he exited the subway station. Jillian, do you want to weigh in on, on sort of Clint's analysis that we know more about what this is not than what it is? What is your sense? So I agree completely. Usually we try and rule out things. So before speculating, before making conjecture, uh, we want to know what is this not? So thankfully, We've already determined that it doesn't seem to be an act of terrorism, although it was terrorizing. It doesn't look like this was an act of terrorism. And that's important to know because that's also going to help the police. That's going to help the feds. They're going to be able to develop a psychological profile of who they should be looking for. Jillian, what is sort of in, in your view? And again, the priority is to protect the city, to protect the subway, to catch um, person who did this. But what, what is your sense of how much is held back? And what, can you take us inside what that sort of push-pull looks like? Well, I don't think that the police department wants to give any misinformation. I think that before they release any concrete factual information, they want to make sure that it's proven to be correct, that they have the proper intelligence from witnesses on scene, whatever they can derive from the evidence that they recovered on scene. There was, from what I know, a firearm recovered. There was multiple high-capacity ammunition um, magazines there, fireworks, other things. So they are going to want to make sure that they're giving the public factual, credible information. Yeah.